To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Manohar Veera from Exambin. In this lesson, we are going to see about India's population and its position across the globe and various population statistics. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to Exambin channel to get regular updates. Let's get started. The Indian subcontinent located in the South Asia north of Equator has the second largest arable land. India occupies seventh largest land area of 3.28 million square kilometer, 2.4% of world and houses nearly a fifth of the world's population. India has more than 50% of its population below the age of 25 and more than 65% below the age of 35. It is expected that in 2020, the average age of an Indian will be 29 years compared to 37 for China and 48 for Japan. And by 2030, India's dependency ratio should be just over 0.4. India has more than 2000 ethnic groups and every major region in the world is represented here. Here are some facts related to India's population. Even though United States of America ranks third in the list of most populated countries of the world, right behind India, its population is just one-fourth of India's population. Not forgetting the fact that USA is three times larger than India in size. The gap of population between the two is a staggering 746 million. Uttar Pradesh alone has a population of 166 million, which is more than the Russian Federation of 146.9 million. Similarly, Orissa has more humans than Canada and Chhattisgarh than Australia. Even though only 16% of India's population has access to internet, this is 10 times the total population of Australia. Now we are going to look at factors for population distribution in India. Physical factors such as climate, terrain and availability of water. North Indian plains, deltas, and coastal plains have climate suitable for agriculture and fertile plains hence have higher proportion of population. Mountainous and forested regions of southern and central Indian states, Himalayan states and some of the northeastern states are less populated. Development of irrigation, availability of mineral and energy resources and development of transport network have resulted in moderate to high proportion of population. The socio-economic and historical factors Traditional settled agriculture and early human settlement has resulted in large population in river plains and coastal areas of India. Development of transport and better agricultural development has resulted in large population in northern plains. Industrialization and urbanization Metro cities of India have a high concentration of population due to industrial development and urbanization. A large numbers of rural, urban migrants come to these towns. Now we are going to look at the phases of growth of Indian population from 19th century. First one is 1901 to 1921. It is referred as period of stationary phase of growth in India's population. Between 1911 and 1921 recorded a negative growth rate. This is mainly because of both the birth rate and death rate were high. The major causes are poor health and medical services, illiteracy of people at large, and inefficient distribution system of food. Between 1921 and 1951, the period is referred as the period of steady population growth, and overall improvement in health and sanitation throughout the country has happened. Better transport and communication systems improved the distribution system. The crude birth rate remained high in this period, leading to higher growth rate than the previous phase. 1951 to 1981. It is referred as the period of population explosion in India, caused by a rapid fall in the death rate but a high birth rate. The average annual growth rate of population was as high as 2.2%. High birth rate was due to better living conditions, scientific developments. Due to increased international immigration from Tibet, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Pakistan, India's growth rate is exploded. After 1981 to present, the growth rate has started slowing down gradually due to decline in crude birth rate, due to an increase in the mean age at marriage, improvement in female literacy, and empowerment. 
better scientific developments and access to common man. And we're going to look upon the overpopulation issue in India. The overpopulation refers to an undesirable condition where human population exceeds the available natural resources to feed and sustain it. Rapid population growth is the ban of the economy of underdeveloped, poor and developing countries in the world. What are the causes of overpopulation? The two main common causes leading to overpopulation in India are the birth rate is still higher than the death rate. We have been successful in declining the death rates but the same cannot be said for birth rates. The fertility rate due to the population policies and other measures has been falling but even then it is much higher compared to other countries. The above causes are interrelated to the various social issues in our country which are leading to overpopulation. Early marriage and universal marriage system Even though legally the marriageable age of a girl is 18 years, the concept of early marriage is still prevailing and getting married at a young age prolongs the childbearing age. Poverty and illiteracy Another factor for the rapid growth of population is poverty. Impoverished families have this notion that more the number of members in the family, more will be the numbers to earn income. Illiteracy is thus another cause of overpopulation. The age-old cultural norm. Sons are the bread earners of the families in India. This age-old thought puts considerable pressure on the parents to produce children till a male child is born. They think more the better. Illegal migration. Last but not the least, we cannot ignore the fact that illegal migration is continuously taking place from Bangladesh Nepal leading to increased population density in India. The problems due to overpopulation in India are Unemployment Generating employment for a huge population in a country like India is very difficult. The number of illiterate persons increases every year. Unemployment rate is thus showing an increasing trend. Poverty the rapid growth of population accounts for low standard of living in India. Even the bare necessities of life are not available adequately. Rising population increases poverty in India. People have to spend a large portion of their resources for bringing up their children. It results into less savings and low rate of capital information. Hence, improvement in production technique becomes impossible. It means low productivity of labor. Uneven migration. Population explosion gives rise to a number of social problems. It leads to migration of people from rural areas to urban areas, causing the growth of slum areas. People live in most unhygienic and insanitary conditions. Overcrowding, traffic conditions, frequent accidents, and pollution in big cities are the direct result of overpopulation. Urbanization Problems development of infrastructural facilities is unfortunately not keeping the pace with the growth of population. The result is lack of transportation, communication, housing, education, healthcare and all the main required functionalities for human beings. There has been an increase in the number of slums, overcrowded houses, traffic congestion, etc. in Indian urban cities. Increase in crime rate Unemployment and poverty lead to frustration and anger among the educated youth. This leads to robbery, beggary, prostitution and murder, etc. The terrorist activities that we find today in various parts of the country are the reflection of frustration among educated and employment youth. Environmental degradation. Rising rate of population growth exerts pressure on land. On the one hand, per capita availability of land goes on diminishing and on the other hand, the problem of subdivision and fragmentation of holdings goes on increasing. It adversely affects the economic development of the country. Population explosion leads to environmental degradation. Higher birth rate brings more pollution, more toxic waste and damage to biosphere. Briefly speaking, population explosion hinders the economic development. It should be controlled effectively. Impact on the Indian economy. Adverse effects on savings, unproductive investment, slow growth of per capita income, underutilization of labor, growing pressure on land, adverse effect on quality of population, adverse social impact. So what are the steps to control population in India? The government of India politicians, policy makers should initiate a bold population policy so that the economic growth of the country can keep pace with the demands of the growing population. Major steps which have been already implemented but still need to be emphasized more to control population. 
increasing the welfare and status of the women and girls, increasing awareness for the use of contraceptives and family planning methods, encouraging male sterilization and spacing births, free distribution of contraceptives and encouraging female empowerment, more healthcare centers for the poor, to name a few, can play a major role in controlling population. Experts are hopeful that by increasing public awareness and enlisting strict population control norms by the government will definitely lead the way for the country's economic prosperity and control of population. Friends, with this we have come to the end of this session. We will be seeing you in the next session and an informative video. Please subscribe to Exam Bin channels to get regular videos like this. Thank you.